Welcome back to Chair Pilates with Lou. We're going to begin this session warming up the upper body. So taking a position on your chair, seated towards the front lip here. Make sure your feet are flat on the ground. And I want you to think about lifting the spinal column as if you were stacking your spine tall on top of your pelvis, lifting your crown up towards the ceiling. Now this lifted position is really important, keeping your back off of the very back of the chair. We're gonna begin with a nice gentle arm prep motion. So I want you to think about taking a nice soft breath in, gently lifting your pelvic floor. Exhaling to focus on these abdominals. Now you're flattening your belly from hip bone to hip bone at the front of the pelvis. Thinking about drawing the pelvic bones together, switching on your belt of abdominal muscles. Keep the spine lifted. From this position, we're going to exhale slowly as we raise the arms on up. Now they're lifting up to chest, to shoulder or in line with the body itself. Good, inhale the arms come back down. Beautiful, keep the spine lifted, we're not leaning back. Exhale the arms float on up, the shoulder is drawing down and the rib cage is drawing towards that hip bone in front. Inhale the arms come back down. Good, so you're working very hard to stay tall, exhale arm prep, ribs drawing in and down towards the hip bones. Inhale arms come back to your sides. Beautiful, exhale. Not leaning back towards the back of your chair. Inhale down. Beautiful, keep it going for four. Exhaling, arm prep. And inhaling, arms coming down. Keep yourself lifted on your buttocks. Exhale. And inhale down, let's do one more. Good, we're going to exhale, arm prep. Good, stay lifted and tall. Clasping onto the fingertips of your left hand. Take a deep breath in, soften the shoulders from your ears. You're going to exhale to reach on over. Good, feeling a nice stretch down the side of the body. We're going to come back to the center, inhale, and take it into the opposite direction. Exhale, reach on over. Beautiful, getting a lovely side stretch. Inhale into center, let's do one more each way. Keep yourself lifted. Exhale, lateral flexion. So it's a side to side movement. Inhale to center, shoulders relaxed. Exhale, lateral flexion. Good. Inhale into center, feels nice. And then softly release the arms down. Beautiful, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see what my back's doing next. We're going to look at opening up that thoracic back or the mid back a little bit more. So turning side on onto my chair. Again, you want your feet flat on the ground. Think about that nice lifted spine position. You can see here, I've lost that nice strong connection in my mid back. So I want to stack the vertebrae upright onto the very sit bones of my pelvis. Good. With this nice strong lift, inhale, lift your pelvic floor. Exhale again, flatten the belly from hip bone to hip bone. Wonderful, let's bring the arms on up to chest level, clasp onto those fingertips. Take a deep breath in here. Now we're gonna drop the chin to the chest. Exhale, pull the fingertips away and really try and widen through that upper back. I want you to send the shoulders apart and gently round yourself over that ball. Good, inhale, lift your sternum, lift the spinal column and lift your chin once more. Good, let's do that again. Chin drops to chest first, look down. Exhale, pull the fingertips away. Really rounding across that mid back. Getting a lovely stretch, sending the shoulders apart, rolling over the ball. And then inhale to lift. Lifting the spine, the sternum, and lifting the chin. Let's do two. Chin to chest, exhale. Beautiful. And inhale to lift the spine upright. Our final one, drop the chin to the chest, look down, lengthen the neck, exhale. In this position, you should feel really rounded through the upper back. Take your deep breath in, release your hands to your thighs, and then gently start to lift the spinal column as you exhale, and bring yourself back tall. Beautiful. You should feel like a little bit more limber through the upper body. Now let's work the muscle itself. Let's work at the trapezius fiber. So the trapezius is a kite-shaped muscle between the shoulders. It has four fibers of direction, up, down, side to side, and it's about the width of your back, and it runs from the side of your neck 
to just below your shoulder blades. So it's a very large muscle fiber. We're going to be working stop signs here. You can position your get yourself flat against the wall if you'd like in a standing position or seated with me, keeping the feet flat on the mat or on the ground. Lift the spinal column. Really important that you feel that you've lifted the, verte the vertebrae and you're stacking the spine, lifting the crown towards the ceiling. Take your soft breath in here. Exhale, focus on the T-zone. It's that one inch band of muscle wrapping around your hip bones like a belt, flattening that tummy to draw the hip bones together. Good. The hands are going to come up to face height. Elbows are soft and bent and shoulders are relaxed. Now you're going to take your big breath in for preparation. On an exhale, we're going to glide the shoulder blades down our back. Now we're drawing our shoulder blades into the back pocket of our denim jeans. Elbows sliding down to the waist. You should feel like your sternum has been pulled forwards and gently up. And then we're going to inhale, bring hands to face height. Good. Exhale. And inhale. Notice that I don't shrug shoulders up towards my ears. Exhale, we're concentrating the effort to draw the shoulder blades down our back as we stay lifted through the vertebrae on the sit bones of your pelvis. Good. Inhale, hands to face height. From the side, you should be able to see my spine. Does not shift out this lovely lifted spinal posture. I'm not pushing my belly or my hips forwards, which is quite common. In fact, I want to keep myself seated, balanced on my sit bones, which are underneath the pelvis. Good. Let's do two. Exhale. And inhale. Beautiful. On this last one, we're going to exhale. Hold that lovely position here. Take a deep breath in. Good. Feel that you've connected to the deep mid-center of your back. Let's draw some circles through your palms. Keep a light tap of chin to chest. We're going to inhale, sweep fingertips upwards, draw around the top half of the circle. As you exhale, glide the shoulder blades down, elbows coming into that nice nipped in waist. Inhale, fingertips reach up and around. Exhale, draw the shoulder blade down your back, elbow to your waist. Good. Now you can draw a really small circle if you prefer. Before making a gradual larger circle, roughly the size of your dinner plate or the steering wheel of a car. Keep that light tuck of chin to chest so you're not straining through the neck. Good. Keep the abdominals flattening across your pelvis. Let's do two circles, however big you choose. Feel that you're connecting to your mid-back. The back, the abdominals working. Come back to your stop sign position. Relax your arms. Ooh, roll the shoulders and switch off. So muscle conditioning is as much about connecting mentally to the portion of the body that you're working as well as fatiguing the muscle. Well, when we fatigue the muscle, we feel that it's getting a little bit tight. It might get a little bit achy. And then as we switch off, we notice, ah, we've let go of that muscle and we're letting it rest. The exact same as your pelvic floor and your abdominal connection. When you're resting, your pelvic floor softens, your tummy is soft, good. From here, we're going to work clams, which is my favorite exercise in seated for your buttocks and your hips. So we're gonna actually bring our feet together. I'm at the very edge of my chair and my feet are on the ground flat. Now for this exercise, as well as lifting the spine upright, we're also going to lift up onto the very ball of the front of the foot. Not the toes, just behind the toes, the forefoot itself. The heels are lifted, and I want you to lift the arches of the feet. Now keep the knees and the feet together and switch onto the abdominals. Inhale, lift the pelvic floor. Exhale, flatten through the tummy from hip bone to hip bone. Beautiful. Keeping your hands on your hip bones, so you notice if your hips are not level. We're going to squeeze the heels together, press the ball of the foot down, and then we're going to open up our knees towards the sides of the room, pressing the heels in. Good, and close. We do this on an exhale, so we're going to flatten the tummy, exhale, open up the knees, and inhale to close. Good, keeping hips level, exhale, and inhale. Keep yourself lifted upright off the back of your chair. Exhale, press heels together and balls of the foot down into the ground. 
and inhale, close. Exhale, squeeze your buttocks as you push your knees out, and inhale in. Good, exhale, and inhale, let's do five. Keep yourself upright, four. Beautiful, press the heels together, squeeze through the buttocks as you push the knees out. Last two. Wonderful, one more, one more. Lift the spine, keep the tummy flat. Inhale, close, rest the heels down, have a little breath, wonderful. Slide yourself back, and you can sit with your back resting on the back of the chair for a moment's rest. Now for the next portion of the class, I'm gonna use some hand weights. You can use tin cans or bottles of water or nothing at all if you don't want. I've got a pair of mini dumbbells. I would recommend no more than two kilos for this work. Start with a smaller weight and gradually build yourself on up. I'm gonna start with, I've got a set of one kilo and a set of two kilos here. Um, some exercises are more comfortable using a deeper weight. Some exercises I prefer a lighter weight, just so I control the motion through my spine. Again, shift yourself forward so you're not tempted to lean onto the back of your chair. Lift your spinal vertebrae one at a time from the very seat of your buttocks, your sit bones, and lift the crown of your head tall. You want to feel this lift is switching on to that strong postural position, seated up high. Good. We're going to take hold of our pair of dumbbells or hand weights, one in each hand. We're going to go into our lateral raises for our shoulders. So, shoulder blades relax down. We're gonna take a nice soft breath in and lift the pelvic floor once more. From this position, we exhale, imagining we're flattening the belly, drawing two hip bones together at the front of the pelvis. Wonderful. From here, my hand weights are resting more or less by the side of my thighs. I've got a soft bend in my elbows, shoulders down. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Now, as I exhale, I'm gonna slide my ribs towards my hips. And I'm gonna lift my palms roughly in line with my shoulders. I've got a soft bend in the elbow still. And then I'm gonna inhale, come back to the sides of my thigh. Now, as you exhale, you don't wanna lean back. So the ribs will slide towards the hips. The shoulder blades are not lifting up. We wanna think about really keeping the spine within neutral. Exhale. And inhale. Think about the shoulder lifting the weight drawing down your back. So as you exhale, sliding the ribs to the hips, the shoulder blade will glide down to lift the arm to shoulder height and inhale to lower. Good, we're halfway, five more, exhale. And inhale, try not to lean back. Don't push your tummy forwards. Exhale, lift, shoulder blades down, inhale to lower. Think about keeping a conscious effort to keep the tummy flat. Good, final one, lift, good, and lower. Good, rest the hand weights on your thighs, take a little rest. You should feel like you're really working the upper body today, particularly the shoulder, the middle section of your back. Really important when you're really focusing on your postural conditioning exercises. Beautiful, from this position we're gonna go into swords. So I'm gonna keep one hand weight resting on my thigh. One hand weight is now going to place across the body, resting just on the hip crease where my thigh meets my hip bone. Good. Shoulder blades down, lift the spinal column, inhale, lift your pelvic floor. Exhale, flatten through the tummy. From this position, I'm going to exhale, use that slide of rib to hip to draw my elbow out to the side. Shoulder blade stays down. Now I'm going to row the arm and reach it diagonally out at a 45 degree angle. Notice I haven't shifted over the side of my chair. I'm keeping the spinal column upright. Then to reverse, I inhale, bring my elbow back out to the side. My palm is more or less at chest height. And then slide the arm back to the hip crease. Exhale, elbow pulls out to the side and I reach the arm on out at the diagonal angle. Inhale, reverse, elbow back at a 90 degree angle at the shoulder level, and then arm or hand weight back to hip crease. Exhale, row and reach, sliding the rib towards the hip to keep you upright. And then inhale, undo. Good, exhale, and out to the side. 
Inhale and back in. We're still conditioning the shoulder and the upper body. We're working at a different plane of motion now. If you'd like, this time as you exhale to pull the elbow out to the side, hand weight to chest height, you can now start to rotate and turn your eye line to follow your, chest, your arm. Keep your chest over your hips. Don't lean over your chair. Inhale, elbow comes back in, arm comes back to that chest level. You face forwards and then you replace. Exhale and out to the side. Inhale and back on in. A little bit of rotation as we row the arm on out to the side. We're really working now through different planes of motion, incorporating the toes torso, so stay upright. Let's do final two. And one. Now we're going to change and do the other side. So as we bring the arm down, we can rest the hand weight on the thigh. Relax. This shoulder should feel like it's really working. As well as your obliques from root to hip in front. Good. Staying switched on or switching back on. Place the hand weight on the thigh crease. Take a nice deep breath in. Shoulders relax down. Lift the spinal column. Good. We're going to exhale. Row the elbow out to the side. Then we're going to extend the arm, rotating through the shoulder. Good. Inhale, elbow comes back to the side. Look at the angle I'm creating through the shoulder. And then release the hand weight to hip crease. Exhale, slide the rib towards the hip to keep you upright. And reach the arm on out at 45. Inhale, and back to the hip crease. Exhale, and out to the side. Good. You can really be focused on flattening the tummy in this exercise to keep you upright. Add the rotation, turn your eye line to look at that extended arm, and then as you come back to the middle point of the room, allow the head to face forwards. So we're rolling out to the side, and then coming out at the diagonal angle, rotating gently through the chest. Then back and in. Exhale, and inhale. Let's do three. Really use that exhale to flatten through the tummy, our last one. And come back to the center, release the arms. Good. So those are called swords. They're a great exercise, again, for conditioning the upper body and the abdominals to keep you upright. We're going to move into some bicep curl work. So we're going to place our elbows into our waistline, palms are facing up. Now here you can alternate your weights. I'm actually going to take a slightly heavier weight because my bicep, the muscle at the front of the forearm, is a little bit stronger for me than my shoulder or my deltoids. So shoulder blades down, lift yourself upright through the spinal column. We're going to keep the elbows into the waist. Now we're going to exhale, flattening through the belly as we draw the palm towards the shoulder. Inhale to lower the arm towards the thigh. You could rest the palms down onto the thigh if you need. Keep yourself upright, exhale and inhale. You should be feeling the squeezing of your bicep as you draw the elbow into your waist and you keep the abdominals flat to keep you upright. So when, at the moment we're doing a forwards bicep curl. Some of you may prefer a slightly diagonal. So you could turn your palms slightly outwards, getting a little external rotation of the arm bone within the shoulder socket, elbows stay in your sides. Exhale. Now we're drawing the palm up more towards the side of the shoulder and inhaling to lower. Keep the belly flat. Exhale and inhale for your bicep curls. Squeezing elbow into the rib to feel the bicep working and inhale to lower. Exhale and inhale. Let's do three. Two. And one. Beautiful, rest your hand weights down, have a short rest. Release the pelvic floor, relax the belly. Good, we're going to go into seated tailors. Seated tailors is looking at your spine twist rotation and adding a little bit more through the upper back. One of my favorite postural exercises. So for this, we're going to sit upright. We're gonna make sure we're switching on pelvic floor and abdominals. And we're gonna bring our hands into the stop sign position. We've already practiced this exercise. The shoulders are gliding down, the hands are at face height, elbows bent. Now I want you to think about softly drawing the shoulder blades down your back, elbows into the waistline, like you did for stop signs. 
You should feel your mid deep center back on with your abdominals flattening over your pelvis. You're gonna extend your arms softly at chest height with elbows still bent. Now keeping your feet flat on the mat, your buttocks on the chair, we're going to exhale to rotate round, eyes following your leading thumb. You're rotating underneath your rib cage, and then you're gonna inhale, come back to center. Good, take it the other way, shoulders down. Exhale, spine twist, and inhale to center. Now pause here in the middle. I'd like you to exhale and press your hand weights together to close off your chest and widen your shoulders at the back. Good, from this position, you're going to open up the chest next, opening back out into this lovely spine twist. We're going to exhale, spine twist, and inhale to center. Check your shoulder blades are down, you can drop your chin to your chest lightly. Exhale, spine twist, inhale to center. Exhale, squeeze your hand weights together, pressing in front of your chest. And then inhale to open. Good, let's do three. Exhale, spine twist. Inhale to center, shoulders down. Exhale. And inhale. Press the hand weights, squeezing them together. Exhale. Inhale to open. Let's do two. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Squeeze the hand weights together. Exhale and inhale, open your final one. The back should feel like it's fatiguing. You should be utilizing all of the upper body to really stabilize. Squeeze the hand weights together, exhale. Inhale to open, relax the arms. Ooh, roll the shoulders and have your break, well done. So that is a lovely chain of exercises to really incorporate some postural tra training, even if you're seated all day. Those really incorporate shoulders, which is your deltoids, your chest muscle, serrates anterior, which is a stabilizing muscle or armpit muscle, also working our rotator cuff um, muscles and our trapezius, lats, roms, our posterior back chain, getting a really good workout. Beautiful. Have a little rest. Now, we've got a couple of exercises that we're going to do in standing. You don't have to do this portion. If you prefer to sit, you can modify and do most of these exercises seated. I'm going to show you a standing position utilizing my chair as a balance aid. So I'm standing at the back of the chair now. You can always position the chair placed against a cupboard or a wall if you don't want it to slide or if you're very cautious, you want to fall over the chair, okay? That could also help you in your standing balance as you build up that coordination and that um, motor skill. So we're going to start with a swimming exercise. I'm going to incorporate my lightest hand weight. You don't have to, you could just do this without the hand weight. So we're going to do swimming, which is opposite arm and leg moving outside of this um, plane, this uh, center line as we call it. So I'm standing at the edge of the chair. I've got my feet hip width, my knees are soft, and I'm gonna lift my spinal column once more. Did you see that little change from my posture? I lifted my vertebrae upright from the very base of my pelvis, lifting my crown towards the ceiling. Make sure you have that lovely lift. It's really important, particularly if you tend to round forwards, draw the shoulder blade softly down, lift the sternum and lift the crown up. Now I'm gonna lift onto one uh, ball of my foot. You're seeing it on this outside leg here. I'm lifting my heel off and I'm lifting the arch of my foot. I'm gonna slide this leg on out into a leg extension and that's where we begin. So, switching onto your teaser, your pelvic floor will be on in standing. All you have to do is now exhale and switch on the flattening of the belly. From here, keeping your hands pressed onto the back of the chair, sternum lifted. We're going to slide the heel behind us, squeezing our glute max, extending the leg. Good. Inhale, slide the knee towards the back of the chair. Good. Exhale, slide the leg on out, squeezing our glute max. Good. Keeping the tummy flat, inhale, slide it back on in. Exhale. And inhale, beautiful. Now the arm also is incorporated in this exercise. It's the opposite arm to the leg that you're currently working. 
So I'm placing the hand weight in mind as a progression. You could start without the hand weight. So I'm going to position the palm facing towards the back of the chair. Here I'm going to begin. T side, your tummy is flat. As I exhale to slide the leg on out, squeezing the glute max as I lengthen the leg into extension, I'm going to exhale, glide the shoulder blade down and lift the arm up to chest or shoulder height. Inhale, slide back on in, hand towards the back of the chair, knee towards the back of the chair. Exhale, flattening through the belly, extending the leg, squeezing my bum to it really reach the foot behind me, drawing the shoulder blade down to lift the arm up. Inhale, slide on in. Good, let's do four. Exhale. And inhale. Good, shoulder blade down. Don't let the shoulder lift on up. We're really focusing on the shoulder blade drawing down as the arm lifts. Exhale. And inhale, let's do one more. Exhale. And inhale. Beautiful. Let's change sides. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I'm doing properly. Changing the weight into the opposite hand. You could do this without the hand weight, remember? Starting with just the leg motion, feet hip width, knees soft. Again, lift the spine, lift the sternum, lift through the crown. Good. Coming up onto the ball of one foot. This is a lovely foot stretch too. Lift the arches of your foot too. From this position, press the hands into the back of the chair, slide the leg behind you, squeeze your glute max to lengthen the leg. Keep the tummy flat, keep the sternum upright, look ahead. Inhale in. Good, exhale, slide the leg on out, squeezing the glute. Good, inhale in. Beautiful, you're doing really well. Keep yourself upright. Think about lifting from the very base of the pelvis all the way to the crown of the head. Think about keeping the tummy nice and flat. Let's add the arm motion. Palm facing towards the back of your chair. As we exhale, flattening through the belly, we're gonna lengthen the leg behind us, squeeze the glute max, draw the shoulder blade down to lift the arm. Inhale, hand comes back to the back of the chair, knee towards the back of the chair. Exhale, and inhale. Think about this bum really squeezing. Think about the shoulder drawing away from the ear. Good, let's do three. Exhale, and inhale. Two, and one. Exhale, and inhale in. Wonderful. Come back to two feet on the ground, have a little shuffle side to side, place your hand weight down. So I'm gonna do what's known as up stretch or elephant in reformer. It's a really nice stretch, particularly if you tend to have really um, tight lower back, tight upper back, and you tend to walk with a forward postural tilt through your pelvis, like this. So tilted pelvis is also known as nodosis. It's quite common as we get a little bit older because we use our core strength. We also gain a little bit of weight around the midsection, it happens to everyone. And we also tend to get a little bit lazy and the spine gets placed under more and more pressure and the natural S curve which is through the lumbar spine and over the shoulders and neck, starts to get squashed. And so the spine shifts forwards. In women in pregnancy, this is really common too. So we're gonna just play with the curves of the back, really, really nice and elegantly. Try to do this with abdominal connection, just so there's not a lot of pressure on the spinal vertebrae itself. So to begin with, I'm gonna start with my arms at length level from my chair. My hands are pressed into the chair's edge. Again, you could prop your chair against something heavy if you're worried about it sliding. I'm going to just walk my feet back so that I've got a little incline, can you see, from my ankle, my hip and my shoulder. Now, I'm very lazy. You'll notice that I tend to push my bum back because I want to switch my tummy off. If this is you and you feel like your lower back is starting to get a little bit of ache just standing in this position, I want you to think about switching on, flattening the belly, and then drawing your tailbone, which is between your butt cheeks, down. Did you notice that little shift? I'll show you again, maybe get out of the shadow release. From this position, I'm gonna draw my tummy in and I'm gonna draw my tailbone down. Did you see now how I've changed from this position into this position? Good. Now that my tummy's flattening, I'm gonna start in my elephant or up stretch. So I'm gonna take a nice soft breath in. 
From this position, I'm going to push my bum back. Now again, don't hit the cupboard. I want you to think about drawing the tailbone down and flattening through the belly, and you'll start to get a hamstring stretch. The hamstrings will be lengthening, even if the knees are bent, okay? You can keep them bent if you need. From this position, you're going to push your hands down into the chair. And as we push the hands down into the chair, we're just going to melt the chest between the arms. You can see my ears are starting to float down underneath my arms. And I'm going to take a deep breath in. Think about scooping out the belly as I push hands into the chair, round my upper back towards the ceiling to come into my elephant or upstretch. Allow the head to soften, just hang gently from the neck. You can lengthen or straighten out your knees and have a lovely upstretch here. Again, take a deep breath in. Start to soften, pushing your bum back, hinging forwards over your pelvis, push your hands into your chair. You can have bent knees, remember. Exhaling to flatten the belly as you allow your chest to drop between your hands. Take a nice deep breath in. Allow the stretch in the upper back to occur. And then on the exhale, scooping out the belly, push your hands into the chair's back. Round the upper back, pushing against your legs. Widening the shoulders, drawing them towards the ceiling. Coming into a nice rounded upper back. Take a nice deep breath in and then begin to melt back. Good, we're gonna do one more of these. Push the bum back, come into that lovely thoracic stretch, allow your head to disappear between your arms, allow your chest to sink down, take a lovely deep breath in. Again, scoop out the belly really strongly, push against the legs, push your hands into the back of the chair, round your upper back, send the shoulders wide and push it towards the ceiling. If you'd like, you can start to straighten out the legs, and have a lovely upstretch here in this rounded back position. Take a lovely soft breath in. Start to gently undo that rounded curve through the back. And walk the feet back towards the back of the chair. Lifting yourself upright to finish. Wonderful. So that is the end of our chair session today. We've done a little bit of postural training for the upper back. And next week we're going to start to look at postural training for the lower back. I'm going to finish today's session with a little bit of mindfulness. So a small amount of mindful meditation can be pretty important if you tend to get really lost and you're flurried about with the stresses and the busyness of your day. So I want you to sit back into your chair, relax your buttocks onto the back of the chair's edge. Really think about taking a nice relaxed position through the body. Arms can rest on your thighs. You can soften and nod your chin to your chest. Take a nice soft breath in through the rib cage. Feel your ribs expand out to the side like an accordion. And then exhale. Feel your ribs sink in and down. Soften your eyes and just focus on the breath. Take a nice soft, deep breath in through nose and lips. Inflate through the lungs out to the side like the accordion. And then exhale. Sink the ribs in and down. Beautiful. Keep your focus on your breath, inhaling, and exhale out. Now just soften the pressure off your neck. Allow your head to hang softly. Focus your breath, traveling in through nose and lips, over your tongue, down through your throat, and inflate through your lungs. Exhaling the air out, the ribs sinking in and down. The air now traveling over your throat and tongue and out through pursed lips and nose once more. Focus in on that breath and try to breathe in tempo with me. Inhale deeply for the count of five, four, three, two, one. Exhale out for five, four, three, two, one, keep breathing, inhale deeply for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhaling, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep breathing. Now I want you to breathe in and out to the tempo of five and five. Relaxing through the shoulders, allowing the arms to just soften through the armpit joint. Allow the palms to relax, resting on your thighs. 
Allow your knees to softly roll out. Feel yourself breathing, inflating through the lungs and the belly. And then exhaling. And allowing the back to round softly forwards. Notice that the breath in and out has calmed down the mind. Do you feel a little bit light now? Are you allowing your head to completely soften forwards? The shoulders have released through the tension. Take one last breath in and out through the tempo, five and five. Softly begin to open up the eyes, slowly and gaze into the room once more. Take a deep breath in. Lift the chin, floating over the sternum. Exhale out completely. And notice how calm you feel now. Beautiful. I'm glad you enjoyed the session. Hopefully I see you next week for another Chair Pilates with Lou. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful week. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.